Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and tonight I want to do a review for Psychonauts 2. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's get started with this. So, <laughs> I'm going to start this one out with level design. Okay, because this is probably one of my favorite parts of this game. Uh, the level design is nothing short than amazing. For a platformer, this game feels extremely well built. I love the fact that every level in this game feels completely different it it is amazing i i am thoroughly i thoroughly have enjoyed my gameplay time with this game um the different things like the different side powers that you get um <laughs> it really opens up this world to to more of a varied gameplay than i thought was even going to be possible with this um I'm happy with this. This is probably uh, one of the better platformers I've I've probably ever played in my life, um, and I played a lot of those. I I have moved away from platformers, um, you know, over over the last few years. You know, I I don't normally play them as often anymore. Um, normally, when I play these games now, I play them. You know, let my kids watch me when I play them. Um, my kids are getting older that now though, so they like to do these games on their own now. So, over the last few years, it's been, you know, kind of hit and miss ever since we got the kids, uh, the, their switches. Um, we haven't really sat down and played as much, but Junior has sat down with me today. We started playing this game at 8 o'clock this morning, and we played it up until about 20, 25 minutes ago. Um, the level and the sound design, um, for me, they go hand in hand, and <clears throat> the music in this game is just so good that I actually, you know, have, um, I, I, I appreciate the attention to detail that's went into the sound with this game. Like it, it's pretty freaking good. Like I'm, I'm still kind of, you know, amazed. Um, I like to do these reviews after, after, you know, a long session of playing, of, of playing the games. And for me to be able to honestly sit here all day today playing this game is nothing short than amazing. Um, I find I find that being able to do that now that I'm older has gotten has gotten a lot more difficult to to actually sit and invest in a game. But when you have something as good as Psychonauts, you know, level design, um, <laughs> it it it's just it's been kind of a breeze. Like I was looking at the clock. I'm a I, I don't know exactly how far I'm into this. I'm in, I'm, I'm on a level called Bob's Bottles right now. Uh, I'm kind of trapped on a little island. And, uh, like, I've been playing this. I mean, it's been kind of challenging, you know, throughout some of this stuff, you know, trying to figure things out. I do dawdle and try to collect as much stuff as I can during the levels. So, um, I, I, I don't, I mean... A lot of these levels I feel like I could have beaten a lot quicker had I um, had I not went out of my way exploring as much as I have but this game here for some reason it just it it makes you want to explore it makes you want to collect things it makes you want to um, go out of your way to do things to do things that um, that are that are fun and it feels meaningful it doesn't feel like I'm wasting my time when I'm playing Psychonauts 2 um there are some insane kind of level designs you know there's like the inside of a mouth um your hospital slash casino type deal that, that that's pretty cool um i like how they they they, they 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 match those two together and and turned it into an extremely fun um an extremely fun environment to explore and play around in um, you have this open hub. Well, you basically have, you know, the Psychonauts headquarters and then like the surrounding area that you can go out, check out a forest, um, a campground and all kinds of other stuff and, and just explore in there and find more secrets and more collectibles. That was freaking fun. Like I, I really appreciate having that freedom to, to go out and explore this, this like pretty, it's, I mean, it's a pretty decent side. There's, there's, there's plenty of stuff to find in there. You know what? 
I've spent I spent probably a good you know hour and a half just just running around checking things out. I, st I still plan on going back and you know exploring a little more. Um, I did buy the I did download this game on Game Pass, but I have since decided to just add it to my collection. Uh, I went ahead and bought it. The kids want to play it um, on their Xboxes, so I just went ahead and bought it. So um, that's why I feel a little better about doing a review on it because I actually did put some money in the game to to do this review. So. I feel I feel a lot better about that and, and it gives me the opportunity to give you my honest opinion and and know that um, that it's something that I uh, I have personally went out of my way to to, to pick up so it, it definitely feels better that way it feels more genuine um, th there's some other levels in here you know like the like the the bowling alley that was pretty cool that was actually really cool i really appreciated that level um <laughs> there was the uh the mail sorting room that was that was pretty fun that was i'm not gonna lie that one was fun and then the uh the barber shop was was pretty cool like i i like that these these levels look so freaking amazing the art style in this game is unbelievable the uh um the way that it um the way that each level looks and feels different is is truly remarkable to to really think that they were able to put such a such a jumbled experience together as a cohesive experience <laughs> is beyond me like it works like this game works you know you go through this uh this psychedelic stage i i call it the jack black stage because i'm pretty sure jack black is the uh the voice of the character in there i'm not going to try to spoil anything for you but that was amazing i enjoyed every second of playing that level and i i just i don't normally go out of my way to play um these these platformer games so when i find something is is truly unique is what psychonauts 2 is like i'm i'm blown away at just how fun and exciting this game has been for me um the cemetery level is by far one of my you know one of my one, one of my favorite things i just the feeling and the the atmosphere of that level was just pretty cool i mean it seems kind of simple but at the same time you know with the music and the gameplay and and what's going on in there and the story beats that are happening during this thing is is pretty cool like i really appreciate how well that worked and i mean i can't wait for you to experience this game so that you understand and see what i'm talking about um this this and and that brings me to the characters and voice acting okay the characters in this game are 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 just are believable like you you believe that that these are actual characters they're actual people and they have their own thoughts and their own minds and you know the the way they interact you know with your with your character and surrounding characters it's believable to a point that it doesn't feel um it doesn't feel all um like shoehorned in it, it, it feels pretty natural to me and and I and I really appreciate that the voice acting, the characters that they have, they they nail their lines. Like this, this is such a good experience, easy to follow through, um, easy to to get into, and you know, kind of believe in. You know, you just if you just let your mind get into the story of this game, it's it's pretty good. Like that brings us, you know, to the story. I mean, there's, you know, you got Rasputin. He's pretty cool. Um, I actually, you know, I actually started liking this character. His family, uh, I mean, they're kind of hit and miss, but then you have like the supporting cast, you know, like Lily. Um, <clears throat> haven't really seen her a lot lately. And then you have uh, Mila, um, Sasha. Um, gosh dang it, what's his name? How do you say that? Color Crowler or something. But he's like the, I'm not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's, it's kind of hard to remember some of their names because they're, they're kind of out there or whatever, you know, for me, you know, um, you know, the Malig Maligula, the bad, the bad person or whatever. But <clears throat> I should have I, I do that every time I should like stop and like write these names down and stuff. But I never do that when I'm doing these reviews for some reason, because um, there's just so many characters in this game that you meet 
and you interact with and some of them are some are pretty brief some are you know there's a, there's a lot more exploring than story beats so when you do get to these characters i mean you'll know who exactly who i'm talking about when when you get there but um <clears throat> the story the story is pretty good it's 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 like this weird like mystery tell fable you know that that spans across the 20 year time that, that that actually works it works pretty good there's a lot of mystery in it there's a lot of um surprises there's a lot of uh things that you're like wow that that's different than i expected it was going to be and and it works and it just works it it really does um the collectibles in this game are really fun to hunt down it's it's pretty fun to to run around and try to collect all of these things um i've spent like i said i've spent a couple of hours in some of these levels just just hunting down some of this stuff um and it doesn't really get old i mean some like to a point you know it can start to feel a little tedious you know if you're if you're if you're rushing the game but if you're just playing through this like we have you know just kind of been playing through it at our leisure today this this is fun this is this is definitely fun um, I would say I am just over on my play time right now. I'm just over probably 12 hours of play time in this and I'm still not done with it. Um, so that, that, that's pretty good. Like I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about that, you know, still not being done. And you know, the average, the average, um, the average level, you know, some of them have taken, you know, a few minutes to a couple hours. So, um, yeah, like I, I feel, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm feeling like you could probably um stretch this out to about 20 hours um and and be able to um like really enjoy the playthrough and really you know like go and look for things and collect stuff and read lore and stuff like that so i feel like you could probably get a good 20 hours of gameplay out of this doing all of that stuff um that's kind of what we've been doing um what me and junior have been doing is just kind of you know going through this game you know reading some of the lore finding stuff collecting you know things so it's definitely expanded the playtime, um, so that's pretty good. My overall thoughts on um, Psychonauts 2 are, are pretty good. Like, this game is pretty good. There are plenty of settings in here, you know, to, to make it as, as, um, as easy as you want through your playthrough, or you can, you know, you can definitely challenge yourself. So, the, so there is some accessibility stuff in there. I usually just play my games on normal. Um, don't necessarily need to punish myself and you know i mean it's been it's been somewhat you know i mean it's it's been it's it's been a pretty decent challenge so i will give it that i would say the platforming and um i would say the platforming and combat uh the combat's not as uh, i mean it's it's pretty good i mean you'll get to like certain enemies in this game that that, that are gonna that are gonna test you um but they are overcomable with your psi powers you can you know figure them out to to where you can use them effectively to fight these enemies you know like slowing them down and stuff like that <laughs> that's that's definitely later in the game though but um yeah my overall thoughts are pretty good i do recommend this game um yeah you can download it on game pass but i feel like this is a solid buy um even for the 60 dollars, i i don't have any regrets paying that for this um yeah this this is a good experience and and it is worth your money and definitely worth your playthrough if you are just going to game uh game past this no shame definitely worth it um this is this is one of those reasons why game pass is amazing you are definitely saving yourself um some pretty good money here and you are getting a solid a solid experience um if they say ratchet and clink is triple a psychonauts triple a this game is good i i have i i I have enjoyed my time a lot more with Psychonauts 2 than I did with Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Um, a lot of that probably has to go with the fact that I rushed through Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Um, I still remember that game. I still remember that story. It was still pretty good. But I honestly can say I have enjoyed my time with Psychonauts 2 a lot more, and that's because I have not rushed it. So had I not rushed Ratchet and Clank, I think these two games would be head to head easily head to head with ratchet and clank no problem visual wise this game is a stunner it i guess you could say it looked a little rough at the very beginning but it it doesn't it, it does have a like the 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 visual style for this game works the visual style for ratchet and clank works for that 
these are both visually stunning games. If you play Ratchet and Clank on PlayStation Five and you play this on Xbox Series X, I would say they're comparable. They're 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 pretty good. They both work. They both look amazing. So, yeah, visuals, sound, sound is great. Um, yeah, like I said, this is a definite um, this is a definite play. And yeah, I I can fully recommend paying full price for this game. It is great. So if you like this content. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps out the channel and I really appreciate your feedback as well so I will see you in the next one thank you